Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Zahid Iqbal. In this video, I'll show you the complete pipeline of Unreal Engine 4 subscription speed tree modeler to Unreal Engine 4. I'll cover each and every step of it. First, I'll show you how to properly save a tree model inside of speed tree. Then, I'll differentiate different file formats of the saved file because those files are for different purposes. Then we'll import it to Unreal Engine 4 and we'll set the proper materials. I'm not going to model any tree inside of the modeler. We'll cover that in different tutorial. We'll use a simple tree for the sake of this tutorial. So stay tuned. First of all, open up speed tree. You must have Unreal Engine 4 subscription version of speed tree. Open a sample tree. Go to file and save as choose the location make a new folder because there will be textures along with the 3d model in it These are the saved files. This SPM file is the file format of SpeedTree project. You can open it to make further changes in that 3D model. SRT is the file you're gonna import into Unreal Engine 4. It is the tree mesh only without materials. These TGA files are the materials. Now you have to understand the difference between these textures file to files having billboards text inside of their names are the LOD textures. This one is the base color. This one is the normal map of the LOD. Rest are the main texture files of the tree. Like this is the base color and this is the normal map of it. Same for these. We also got a specular map here. So let's import SRT file to Unreal Engine 4 now. Leave everything default. Make a new folder for it. As you can see, it is just a mesh. Let's import textures now. I'm not going to import LOD textures right now because I want to make this tutorial as simple as possible. You can clearly see the actual texture, I mean base color and its relevant normal maps. Let me save it first. Drag the tree model inside of the level so that we can see it clearly. 
now make a material name it whatever you want click on the empty space and change the blend mode to masked can you see the similarity between these three files we'll make a material with these three texture maps we'll make a separate material for these two maps so drag these three files inside of the material adjust them accordingly now drag off a pin from it and search for speed tree select speed tree color variation under the speed tree connect it to the base color connect the alpha pin to opacity mask connect the specular map to specular node for the normal map hold m and left click to get multiply now follow my steps Let's apply our material to tree. This tree model got several material IDs, so you have to find out the correct one for this material. It is all about common sense. I mean, materials that we just made is the material for leaves, as we can see in the texture maps. So let's apply it. As you can see, we applied same materials on two different material IDs, and it looks perfect. Now let's make a second material for rest of the tree. Drag rest of the maps. Do all the previous steps. We don't have specular map for this material, so we can add a constant. Hold one and left click to add a constant. Make sure it is set to zero.
I forgot one thing. I have to connect red pin to ambient occlusion. Let me check the first material. Make sure red pin is connected. Save both materials. Now apply these materials accordingly. As you can see, materials are looking perfect now. So guys, like this video only if you found this helpful. Also subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also check out my other useful videos.